Welcome to the ITDVDs.com YouTube channel. This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. If you would like to see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Now let's begin the sample. Now let's talk about the different types of Ethernet cables and what type of speed and distance we get out of those cables. Here we have an Ethernet name the cable type, the maximum speed we're going to get from this particular cable, the maximum transmission distance we're going to get from this cable, and also a, a cable name that we might commonly use. And we do need to memorize these Ethernet names and know their speeds and their transmission distance. So f the first one is 100 base TX. This is a very common cable and it's UTP. UTP stands for Unshielded Twisted Pair and we did see what a UTP cable looks like. It's a very common cable. If you cut it open, we've got four twisted pairs. The maximum speed we're going to get out of this cable is 100 megabits per second. The maximum distance, so how long the cable can be, is 100 meters. The cable name that we're going to use, CAT5, CAT5E, or CAT6. Then we've got our 100, or I'm sorry, 1,000 base T. This is also UTP cable. We're going to get 1,000 megabits per second or a gigabit. 100 meters is as far as it can go. This can be Cat 5E or Cat 6. Notice it can't be a Cat 5 cable. Then 1,000 base X SX. This is going to be fiber. So here we've got some examples of some fiber cables. This is what they look like. So if you see them, you know what they are. This is called multi-mode fiber. Normally it's an orange color. We've kind of standardized on the colors that lets us know what type of fiber cable it is. Single mode fiber is going to be yellow normally and 10G multi-mode fiber is normally going to be a bluish color. Also I just wanted to throw this in this SFP plus copper twin axe. You can see what it looks like. This is a lot of times used on the Cisco Nexus switches. Now it's not going to be part of the test but I just wanted to throw it in. So 1,000 base SX fiber can go 1,000 megabits per second, and it can go up to 550 meters. And this can be multi-mode or single-mode fiber. So it could be our multi-mode or single-mode. Then we've got 1,000 base LX is also fiber, 1,000 megabits per second, 550 megabits, I'm sorry, 550 megabits for multi-mode fiber or 2,000 meters if we're using single-mode fiber. So normally we're going to be using single mode fiber here if we're using 1000 base LX. And we can think of the S as being short and L as being long. So kind of an easy way to remember the distances uh, for fiber. If we need to go over 550 meters, then we're going to be using long. Or there's 1000 base ZX. That's fiber also, 1,000 megabits per second, and this can actually go 70,000 meters or 70 kilometers, and this is going to be single-mode fiber. So again, if we need to go over 550 meters for fiber or 1,000 uh, megabits per second in general, uh, we need to use 1,000 base LX or 1,000 base ZX.